I caught me a big body bands. We touching paper for real niggas rapping pretend. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherelle. I do cruelty free beauty and vegan lifestyle videos here on YouTube and I wanted to do my beauty favorites because I did miss last month and I want to say no I think I got one up for February. Whatever it is I just wanted to update you guys. Um, there's some new things there's some not new things, but I did want to do one really quick for you guys so we can just jump right in. Um, I do have, what should we start with? I'll do skincare first. So this has really been my favorite and I'm almost done with it, which is kind of makes me sad, but I'll, I'll just go grab another one. This is from Derma E. Um, this is the Rose Hip and Almond Protecting Shea Body Lotion. I love this. As of recently, probably the past two years, three years, I really have been loving the scent of rose and then ro if I can get rose on my skincare and my eyebrows on I, I don't care what it is I want it it just smells so good it doesn't it's not like a chemically made scent um, as you guys know Derma E is cruelty free and also vegan if you didn't know they are vegan as well so I love I love this and I had a small one that I kept in my purse all the time I think I threw it in Denver's bag so at least I have that but this is one of my favorites I keep this right next to my bed I'll hit all the dry points you know hands elbows knees feet all that stuff um, but I really like this this is formulated with vitamin E rosehip fruit extract and sweet almond oil sweet almond oil is also really great for your skin I use that on my skincare um, in my skincare routine on my face so I really love that I highly highly recommend this it doesn't feel greasy or like too much of anything I think it's just perfect at least for me I have sensitive dry skin so this is something that really works on me and I also live in California I don't know obviously it's gonna change because my skin has changed a bit from when I lived in New York I've been here for three years and I slowly felt the change my skin is not as dry it's a little more dehydrated but it's still sensitive it kept that sensitive bit in there you know so that's what works for me um, I'll show you another you guys know if you've been following this channel for a really long time this is also another thing that I Feel like I have to have in my uh, skincare my body skincare routine I love this scent and once I found it and I found a, a more or less toxic version of a perfume I used to wear this is something that I just have to have and you guys can all see it with me if you already know this is the Nubian heritage Ooh, there's a little that and the Nubian heritage uh, patchouli and Beridi. I love this scent. I have it in pretty much every way it's made. The soap, lotion, shea butter, I want to say that's it. This is literally my favorite. I At first when I purchased the, um, the shea butter uh, version of this instead of the lotion, I was like, oh, I probably won't ever use it. I just really prefer lotions. And guys, I actually really prefer this over the lotion. Even though I still use the lotion, David likes the lotion. I'll sit and, and massage my legs and lotion with this. Oh, I love it. It smells like the Terry Mugler Angel perfume. I don't really wear perfumes anymore. Um, I've just been really conscious about like the toxins and things and I've really tried my best to pare down. I know I probably could do better, but I've really cleaned up my um, my the stuff that goes on my body and all that stuff. And this was a scent that I was so excited to find when I found it. And I probably will never get rid of it and I hope they don't ever discontinue the scent or the formulations of these because I really really like this I also purchased this off iHerb this was about ten dollars um, and if you guys are new to iHerb I do have a code I can leave it down below you get five dollars off of your first uh, purchase with them so and what do you guys actually told me about iHerb I love it I'm addicted it's kind of like Amazon for me but uh, I just love it so Highly recommend this one as well. Um, and one more, or I have two, well, okay, I'll just keep going. Um, I purchased this from TJ Maxx. This, I, I like to get deodorants and things that are um, a little higher priced, I guess you would say, at TJ Maxx because things are like half off. This is normally, I believe, like $16 at Sephora, and I purchased this for $7.99 from TJ Maxx. Now, if you guys don't know, this is La Vanilla. La Vanilla is, um, this is a deodorant. I have the summer, uh, the Vanilla Summer. It's a healthy deodorant, natural formula, no aluminums, no parabens. If you guys don't know, I don't use, um, 
I don't use like the mainstream deodorants because they all pretty much have aluminum in it. For me, I don't want to put aluminum on my body, um, especially not near those areas because you have lymph nodes and all that stuff that will hold onto those bad items. And I don't want cancers. I don't want breast cancers. And you know, from, from research, they said aluminums and stuff near that breast tissue um, can lead to that. So I just said, let's just get something that's a little more clean. I normally use Schmidt's deodorant. I like these two as well. Um, this one is the uh, sensitive formula. I have two scents. One of them is geranium and this one's the coconut pineapple. I really like this one as well. Um, but this one, I, re I it's really, 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 really good. Uh, oh, I love it. It smells it just smells really clean and fresh. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would say vanilla, but definitely like a spring summer scent. I love this scent. If you guys have a TJ Maxx near you, check it out and see. I believe they also make a lavender scent, but this I really, really enjoy. It says no harsh chemicals, petrochemicals, phalites, mineral oil, silicone, synthetic dye, sulfates, and parabens, 100% healthy for skin. I really like this. It says soothing essential oils blend with powerful antioxidant and beta glu glucan technology for daily defense and nourishment. So this is something that I really like. I actually referred my sister to buying these as well because she's trying to switch over certain items in her household and in her skincare and all that stuff for her and her daughter um, to things that are a little more body and skin friendly we'll say so i recommended this for her and also schmitz my niece alaya she actually came um and let me know she's like titi that deodorant that you gave me it does work because she's 10 um going on 11 and you know hormones and all that stuff is starting to change her ph balance and i was like girl let's get some deodorant so she has that as well and she really likes it um these two items they come from the same company but I really like them. They smell really, really good. This is from the company called, um, okay, the company is called Indigo Wild. The product line is called Zoom Oil. And then I also have the Zoom Oil, um, the roll on, the perfume oil. Guys, this smells so good. It's in the scents. Uh, scent frankincense and myrrh and it has shea butter and meadow foam sea massage and body oil this smells so good i use this in the morning at night whenever i actually use this on denver as well after he gets out of the bath one pump pretty much covers his whole little body so i really like this and this is also something that i like to keep this is just a fragrance oil it smells so 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 good i get so many compliments i've been using this for probably the past I don't know, maybe two months. I purchased this before we went on our cruise and I really like it. And you just roll it on. Everybody's like, hey, what are you wearing? They still stop me and say, hey, what are you wearing? So I recommend this. If you guys like essential oils, natural oils, this is something that's a good alternative to using mainstream fragrance. Okay. So we're going to get into some beauty products right now. These things are some oldies but goodies, but I really, really love them. And I like to recommend things that I use that are cost effective, not going to break the bank. And you don't feel terrible about purchasing them. One I've had for so long that I'm like, geez Louise, like I'm never going to get rid of this. Um, we'll start off with that item. This is the Kat Von D uh, Locket Setting Powder in the color Translucent. Guys, I've been using this for so long and I literally can't get rid of it. I use it all the time. I just recently had to reopen this and pour the powder back in and just re-close up some of the holes because it was starting to make a mess. Uh, I always recommend when you're getting a new setting powder that has the holes, the sifter at the top, take your tweezer, the pointy tweezer, pop maybe four holes and use that because if not you're just gonna have to keep sifting it back in and sifting it out um this will last you a really long time i want to say i've had this powder for probably i don't even know probably too long but i really like it it still works it's really good another product that i have been liking to set um sometimes i'll do underneath my eye but i'll do the rest of my face every once in a while i will notice i get a little bit oily so this is a good powder this won't break the bank like i said this is the bh studio pro i have the color golden I probably could go up a side, uh, color lighter, but this works. It's the HD, a tinted HD powder. I really like this. This um, BH Cosmetics is cruelty free, and I believe this one is also a vegan item, which I've been trying to switch all my things over to vegan as well, but I don't want to waste. Um, but all my, my whole collection is cruelty free. So, um, 
yeah, I can't remember how much this was. I want to say it's like maybe like six dollars, but highly recommend this one. I have this on my forehead, my nose, my chin, and then I just did a bit here just to set the face. I don't feel overly dry. I don't look overly powdery, so I really like that. It's very finely milled, um, so that's another good setting powder option and then I have one more I really 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 like this and I wasn't too sure if I was going to this is from lunatic cosmetics labs this is a mystifying mattifying high definition micro finish pressed powder um, and it's in the shape of like that Ouija or thing uh, I really like this now for this I actually like to go in with my elf cosmetics concealer oh gosh elf cosmetics concealer brush flawless concealer brush yes that's what it's called um, I have one right here Flawless concealer brush and I normally just go right around Right you could do an extra little tap in the middle if you want I'm gonna look over here because this is where my mirror is and I normally just pat Right I pat it until it goes all the way away and this is blurring I Feel like I'll pat it. Hopefully it will set because I already have powder under my eye, but um yeah, it's it's blurring and it's brightening. So now I just need to even out the other side. So I just did a swirl and I will tap it in. I'm almost done. Those are my pressed powders. I, or one's a pressed powder, the other two are loose powders, setting powders. I think I kind of prefer the pressed powder version a little better because if I did want to throw something in my bag, those are not the the items that I would choose. I would choose the Lunatic Cosmetics. I would choose the Lunatic Cosmetics Lab one first because it's it's a pressed uh, powder. It's a little easier to travel with. So I that one, oh, guys, I really, really like it. If anybody else has tried this brand or has tried that product out, please let me know. Um, Lunatic Cosmetics Labs is also cruelty-free and vegan. So if you guys wanted to give them a try, if those two things are something that you check off on your list when you're purchasing items, um, this is something that's really good and I really enjoy it. And I'm nervous to hit pan because then that means I'm just gonna have to buy five more. <laughs> but I've really been doing my best to not overspend, overindulge, use the collection that I do have. So that's what I wanna um, let you guys know. It is great to shop your stash. And David's been really proud of me because um, I haven't been going overboard. I'm very serious about purchasing a house and makeup will not stand in the way. <laughs> So, continuing on, um, a couple things for the eyes. I really have been loving, um, and I'll just give them a go. So, first off, when you're going to do your makeup, this is something, this is actually, okay, so this is something that I will do on days that I really don't have much time. Denver's, you know, climbing up my leg. I'm trying to get my makeup done. I will go in with this e.l.f. Um, lid primer. This is in the color sheer. I'll go in with this. I really like this. I want to say this is like two dollars. You can pick it up at your local Target or Ulta or you can get it on their um, elf.com. I really like this but the next thing that I have been like obsessed with recently is this color blushing rose. Now I'll tap this all over the lid or I'll put it on right with the um, applicator here. I'll go in right on the lid. I'll tap it out with my finger. I'll use a clean fluffy brush with like a transition color. Buff that right in the crease. And then after that is all set, go in with this. This is from, uh, now this e.l.f. is, I want to say it was maybe like three dollars, two, three dollars. But this is some, this is something that I really use when I'm in a rush because it's a quick way to getting color all over the lid and not really having to do much. And then the next step that I go in with is this Pixie Beauty. Um, this is called the Liquid Fairy Lights in Bare Brilliance. I really like this. This is super pigmented and one swipe will literally do ya. This is another thing that um, if I want to make my eyes look more awake and that I've done a lot with a little, I'll do the inner third part of my eye. I would show you but I don't want to mess up my makeup right now. So um, just go in the inner third of the eye. And, and, and I'll just pull my pinky in and just blend that all out and I really love it. So that's what that looks like, Bare Brilliance. Out of all the colors that I have, I want to say that one's my favorite and the most used. I'll probably hit 
I don't want to, you can't hit pan, but I'll probably empty that quicker than the other ones. Uh, cause I really, really, I pretty much use out of seven days of doing makeup. I'll probably use that four. I just love it. You could do it over top of this. You could do it over top a matte shadow. You could also put it over top another shimmery shadow to make the colors pop even more. So I really, really like that. You can find Pixie beauty stuff also at target or their dot com. Um, I really love them. I really love them. And I saw on their website, sorry, there was a little gnat. Um, I saw on their website that they came, they've they come out with, I think, two or three new colors, and one of them looks really pretty. I do want it, but I think I'm going to hold out for a little bit until I hit maybe pan on something else. Um, so I'm not just having things in my collection just sitting. So really like that those are those two together and then my my one of the other things that I want to recommend is for the lips this is actually what I have on my lips today I have or obsessive compulsive cosmetics lip liner and Sybil on to line my lips and then to go in the middle I have this this is from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs in the color Crypt Cream I really like this this is a perfect color for spring and summer a nice um, super creamy super pigmented lip color it is very peach but you can sheer it out a little goes a long way i i think if if i can edit the video down and it looks good um i'll sh you guys will see it in a video coming up but i just tap it right in the middle of my lip and just work it work it work it work it all over and this is the color that comes out if you want it super opaque super peach just continue on but for me my skin tone the way i like to have my makeup look um I really like this and they last super long like I've had this on for a, a little bit now and they haven't moved so and I've been drinking my green tea out of my metal straw <laughs> so I really like them and this is my last thing for the month the like I said I just did beauty skincare um, I didn't even do any of like my my like actual face skincare for morning and night but that might be something I could do for another video uh, but shop miss a has been like my go-to website for the past probably year now if not a little longer I'd have to see my order history to see how long I've been shopping with them but I really like them especially because they have dollar lashes now if you're anything like me I wear lashes almost every day and the thought of spending six dollars on one pair of lashes just to have them be thrown out after a couple wears it really hurts my heart so I tried to find something that was a little more cost-effective I went into my local beauty store and I found Cara Beauty lashes and I really like them and um, once I was shopping on this and I saw that they sell them as well that was like the gateway for me I ended up ordering probably like 10 15 pair from them loved them and then I saw shop miss a has their own collection of AOA studio brand that were a dollar each now I purchased this pack this is the Alexis black um, lash these are the lashes that I'm wearing right now these are very long and wispy but the they're long and they cross you know they cross so they make your lashes look super full and kind of like, are those her lashes? I'm not sure. Like I want to ask her, but I don't really want to ask her, but I want to ask her, are those her lashes? That's how they look. Uh, one of our friends from New York came out and visited and I had my sunglasses on because it was super bright out. Sun finally was going down and we were talking. I was like, yeah, girl. So anyway, pu pulled up my sunglasses. She was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, hold on. <laughs> what are you wearing? And I was like, these old things and I let her know and she was like a dollar I'm like girl get your hands on them they're so good so easy to put on if you need to trim them they're super easy to trim as well I just take off maybe the last um, the last set of like lashes so they fit perfectly on my lash my, my lash line and I love them so like I said they're called the Alexis um, the Alexis lash in the six pack I believe they also sell them in the one packs but I just decided to get the six pack I've been wearing these for probably the last 10 days so maybe after today I'll check you know chuck these out and just grab a fresh pair but as long as you pull them off and you're really gentle with them they last a long time um, so, like I said, I really love these. I also purchased another pack called the Lulas, but I haven't tried those yet. But I really like these. A six pack is five sixty, so you save or five eighty, one of them. You save a bit, um, a couple cents when you buy them in bulk like this. But I highly, highly recommend them. But anyway. 
Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys have any requests, please let me know down below. I do have a whole book that I'm going through and checking off what I need to record. And also, if you guys have any people that you want to recommend that I watch, please let me know. I love to find new channels just the same way as if you guys refer me to somebody else and somebody finds my channel. I love that. So it's the same thing. As much as I'm on YouTube, I am also a consumer of YouTube as well. So yeah, hopefully all is well with you guys and I shall check you in the next one. Please remember to be blessed, well dressed and not stressed and I'll see you there. Bye. Real quick, I had an honorable mention. I forgot to mention this. I put, brought this on my trip that we just went to. This is a razor. Now, I had to save the box so I wouldn't forget because there's no, I mean, it has a little A, but I wasn't going to remember. Um, this was actually sent to me maybe like a couple months ago to try out because uh, I actually asked them more and then, you know, we were going back and forth and they just decided to send it so I could um, try it out. This is called Avline Shave Your Way and it's very interesting interesting if you could see this right here that's how you have to hold it now it's an honorable mention for me for the simple reason that I don't know if it's the most comfortable for me because I, I, we're just so used to shaving a certain way you know that when you change the way you do something it's awkward so I have been trying it out you hold it like this to shave your legs. The ball goes on the the you know the leg, and you can just drag it like that. Don't worry, I have the the safety thing there. But that's what it looks like. For me, it's a tinge awkward, but I like the thought behind it, and I like that it's a little more travel friendly because I bought this on vacation, and I don't know. It's like a it's like a compact razor. If anybody has tried this out, let me know. Tell me if I'm doing something wrong, if there's a better way of holding it. Uh, I, I, I literally looked at how the instructions have it. Um, pinky goes here. The thing that also kind of gets me too is because I'm a dominant um, lefty, to try to do this with the opposite hand and shave is a little awkward for me. I don't know, maybe I have to keep using it. But it is an, it's an honorable mention because it's really cool and it's really compact and it's effective because it's a razor and it has six blades so you're not having to go past a million times but for me it's just it's it's an awkward hold but it's cool you know but anywho if anybody has tried this or something like it let me know I'll leave the um see I kept it Denver's tried to throw the box out a million times I'm like no I need it for my review um but it's like it says it's different by design I don't know it's just it's really it's a really cool concept but it's like it's awkward for me it's a little awkward to hold um yeah but if you have any any different like tips for me maybe of using this let me know down below but anywho i'll let you guys go